everyone welcome you're watching the social network now of course uh, 250 clips of commuters in the Delhi metro have suddenly made their way to several porn sites so they're basically out in the cyber world for everybody to see including you and me many of those clips are in fact of young boys and girls uh, uh, in a fairly intimate position so uh, one of the things we discussed today is whether the state in the name of surveillance and security has the right to invade your privacy. So that's what we discuss on the social network today, Voyeur Metro, Delhi Metro, commuters clips on the porn sites. And now before we introduce our panelists for the day, let's quickly listen in to what Shivani has sent us in this video blog. The recent case regarding the use of CCTV footage by the Delhi Metro authorities once again shows that more CCTV cameras do not by itself means more security. Technology does not have a mind of its own. And as long as the minds of those controlling the technology remain rooted in misogyny, patriarchy and perversion, we really can't expect more. We will only expect more such cases of violation of privacy and perhaps even moral policing. Also, time to think again that if we cannot trust the intention of minds of those here, our government must be far too gullible to be showing such trust in US surveillance. All right, joining us uh, on the show with us, we've got uh, Veena Venugopal, who's in Delhi with us in the studio, and she is uh, a writer. We're uh, joined by Mrinal Satish, who's a lawyer. He's an associate professor at the National Law University from Delhi. He joins us on a video call. We're also joined by Ankita Chanda. She's a student from Delhi University. And we're also joined from Mumbai uh, by Vikram Krishna, who is a privacy advocate. I want to start with you first, uh, Vikram. You know, uh, we heard Shivani just a little while ago talking about the fact that CCTV cameras does not necessarily mean that you're going to be more secure. But the larger point that, you know, we wanted to look at is the fact that in the name of surveillance, the state seems to be gathering all kinds of information in various different ways, but it's just simply unable to make sure that the citizen's information is in fact private. You're right. It's uh, a situation where we're seeing a lot of uh, uh, monitoring of online data. We're, we're, we're seeing that the state thinks it is appropriate to be able to monitor our communications. Um, but it does not seem to be in a position to protect the information that they're gathering. We saw this uh, not too long back in the famous Neera Radia case where there were audio tapes being uh, you know, uh, pervade all across the country and now we discover that even video surveillance is being in fact uh, bandied about on the internet. Uh, stuff that was actually meant to be completely secure and meant in fact to be actually recorded in order to protect us for our security. We're seeing the opposite happening. You know, Veena, I just want to bring you in. Isn't this really, really sad? I mean, for months and months after the December 16th gang rape, we've gone to town talking about how the state needs to make us more secure. In the capital, women feel unsafe. And here you go. I mean, six months down, I feel like we've gone further back away from where we were before the 16th of December. I mean, you know, Ratan Tata went to court and said, don't release my call records. But what about these hapless little young couples? They don't even know they're being filmed. You cannot do anything about it. And... Um, I, I, it's not just sad, it's appalling that, that this has gone on for so long and not only have they sort of viewed these clips as the security cameras have re recorded them, they have obviously been edited and sent out so I can't believe that there is no trace of where these have a, gotten out from. The second is this whole question of decency as as we call it and a lot of people uh, seem to think that oh they were indulging in indecent behavior therefore it is all right that uh, they be publicly named and shamed as it were and I want to ask then that you know in our country every day every corner that you turn there are hundreds of men urinating on the side of the road you know is that decent behavior so there seems to be a lot of uh, Hypocrisy. Yeah, the, well, yes, and there's a lot of disconnect in how people are viewing, viewing. it. You would think that there would be outrage yeah. at, at uh, how blatant this is, but, but you know, there is a sort of moral s stand against it, against stand it. for it. Yeah, in fact, uh, I also want to just welcome Gaurav Pandi on the show. He's a social media activist and also very active online. Gaurav, uh, do you want to respond to what Veena was saying? Because I know you said earlier that they shouldn't have been so intimate in the first place in public spaces. Absolutely. 
undoubtedly uh, there has to be a question on how the data was uh, leaked and there has to be a probe to check that uh, you know from where it got leaked and uh, to plug the holes however after that any other question which is being raised or there is a, a, a outrage which is a quasi outrage i would like to say because uh, it, it it was a it's not a private place see there have been mms uh, clips that has been released uh, leaked in the past but this one is totally different from that so it's just like uh, for example you're you're not allowed to drink alcohol in the uh, in metro so tomorrow uh, you know there are so uh, you're footages. basically saying you're basically saying couples holding hands uh, a couple it's, holding it's not hands. about holding hand no absolutely not it's not about holding hand i've seen uh, whatever the images or the micro clips they've shown on the television yeah and uh, so uh, in this case according to me uh, the couples uh, those who are involved they are not victims they are offenders because you you were not supposed right. to do that's a very strong word i'm actually going to just uh, throw that across to ankita ankita as a young student you know who's probably may or may not have a boyfriend or certainly has friends who have boyfriends and definitely want to hold hands once in a while i'm sure you want to kiss what do you make of gaurav pandey's statement well uh, see there in india there are a lot of issues that rise up with getting your partner at home to probably like make up that is the reason why you can see so many couples in parks and other public places it is harmless all youngsters in fact a person belonging to any age group would want physical intimacy with her or his partner and the very thought of porn viewers enjoying this sight would gross any couple out